This video was originally supposed to be a 15 by 15 RBMK reactor tutorial, but it's safe to say that things didn't exactly go as planned. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it there, but uh, I am still trying and I will make a video on it as soon as possible. But that did get me thinking. 15 by 15 is the maximum size for an RBMK reactor or at least where the RBMK console is concerned. So what is the smallest RBMK that you can build? 5 by 5? 3 by 3? No. It is actually a 1 by 1, a single fuel rod and that is enough to produce nearly 1 million HEs per second or 950 kilo HE per second. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get straight into it and see how to build this mini nuclear power plant. So like every other Viasim video, we are going to start this one by changing a simple game rule and that game rule is the dial Viasim boilers and set this game rule to true because if this game rule is false then your reactor will just explode as it won't be able to output any of the steam that it is producing. The next game rule that we are gonna change is going to be the dial column height game rule and we are going to set it to 2. As we are talking about small reactors, let's also get the smallest height of the RBMK that is possible. So once you have done that, all the RBMK columns will be just two blocks high. Now, these are the things that you will need. RBMK fuel rod, which is the Riasim fuel rod that is, then the RBMK glass cover, four industrial steam turbine, one barrel, cooling tower, RBMK console, coated universal fluid ducts, you are going to need multiple of them, and also you are going to need coated red copper cable. You can also use normal fluid ducts and copper cables if you want to. That's entirely up to you. Now this is the layout that we are going for and don't worry it is not permanent but uh, it is around 26 by 21. So first things first, place down your RBMK fuel rod and on top of that place down an RBMK glass cover. Now get yourself an RBMK via same steam outlet and water inlet. Place the water inlet on one side and adjacent to it place down the steam outlet touching the RBMK fuel rod. Now once you have done that, leave a 3 block gap between the water inlet and the fluid barrel that you are going to place. Now once that's done, place a heavy infinite water tank and we are good to go. Now leave a 3 block gap once again from the steam outlet and here we are going to place down our first industrial steam turbine. Now we are going to have a total of 4 and this is our first one. Now leave a 3 block gap once again then 4 and on the 5th one place down another turbine. Once you place them like this, you will have a 3 block gap in between them. Now grab any temporary block and come here where you see the hitbox of the turbine and shift click the temporary block here in order to place it. There we go. And do it on the other turbine as well. As we are going to have 4 turbines in total, these turbines are gonna be on top of each other. So place one turbine here and another turbine there and then get rid of the temporary blocks. Now it's time to connect the barrel with the water inlet and once it is connected it's time to connect the steam outlet with the first turbine. Now this first turbine will then go into the second turbine which is on top of it. One more thing that you need to know about the turbine is that this side is only input, it can't output. The two sides on the side can input and output but the side which is behind it can only input. So once the input is going in the first turbine, the super dense steam. It is then going to be converted into dense steam and go into the second turbine which is on top of it. Now this turbine will produce steam from dense steam and that normal steam will then travel into these two turbines that we have on the right here. So extend some fluid ducts like this and also extend them down. There we go. So now we have steam going in the other two turbines as well. So this is super dense steam which then converts into dense steam and dense steam then converts into normal steam going into these two turbines. Alright, so far so good. Now come to your water barrel once again and count down 3, 4, 5 and 6 blocks in total. And then on the 7th block from the water barrel, place down a cooling tower. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and then place down a cooling tower here. Alright, so now it's time to connect the cooling tower with the turbines and the water barrel. So connect the water barrel with one of the inlets of the tub the cooling tower sorry and connect the output of these two turbines which are going to be producing low pressure steam and connect it with the cooling tower there we go or if you want to make it a bit more compact then just 
bring out a straight line like this. And with this, all our connections are complete. All our piping work is complete. Now, one more thing remaining is to just connect all the outputs of the industrial steam turbine, the power output that is, and connect them into one. So we get the maximum power output from this entire setup here. All right, now you need the water fluid identifier, super dense steam, dense steam, normal steam, and low pressure steam. You are going to need these five fluid identifiers. It's time to set up all of these things that we placed. So first things first, set the barrel with water and it will fill up once you do that. Now shift click the water pipes so that they are gonna get converted into water ducts. So the barrel will start inputting water once you set it to input output mode and the rear sim, uh, the rear sim fuel rod will fill up with water. Next up these pipes are gonna be transporting a super dense steam. So shift click with the super dense steam fluid identifier and then we are gonna get normal uh, dense steam. So set the first turbine to super dense steam and that super dense steam is then gonna get converted into dense steam. So shift click once again and set it to dense steam. And finally, the dense steam will be converted into normal steam. So shift click, that will set all the connecting pipes into normal steam. And you don't need to set these turbines as by default, they are gonna process steam. Now get your low pressure steam fluid identifier and shift click all these pipes that are going into the cooling tower. That will transport the low pressure steam into the cooling tower. And then just grab your water duct and set all of these pipes to water. Now one last thing and this is optional by the way, place down an RBMK console. You don't really need console but uh, if, even if you have it then yeah it doesn't matter that much. So set the console and now one more thing you need to do is cover this entire setup with concrete bricks in order to contain the radiation that it is going to leak. So connect, cover it with concrete bricks and then place down any self uh, self-igniting fuel rod in there. I recommend using the medium and rich plutonium and once you do that all the turbines should start rotating and there should be smoke coming out of the cooling tower. So the setup is now running the water levels are looking good and yeah as for the power generation we have around 940 to 950 kilo hg's per second so very close to 1 million hg's per second that's pretty good generation in my opinion. So yeah, it is not much, but it is honest work. Now the best thing about this is that these rods are gonna deplete very slowly, the rod that we placed inside. So this reactor can run for a pretty long time and give you consistently nearly 1 million HGs per second. So yeah, that's pretty good. Now one thing that you can do with this entire setup is you can set the flooring with wall added to concrete and you can place chain link fences going all around it and convert it into a small nuclear power plant. If you want, you can also place barbed wires on top of the chain link fences and they look pretty good together. So yeah, that is just one idea that you can do and turn it into a simple nuclear power plant. So that was all I had for this video guys. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, do smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel. I'm very close to 5k. So yeah, peace out guys.